I guess the, the big game for you so far has been Thursday against Williamsville. Yes. Um, the season ended last year to them, so it was it good to have it early and kind of be able to kind of exercise those demons early on in the season? It was good to have them to like see where we stood from last year because we knew that they were going to be the biggest competition. There, it was them in Riverton are always have a great volleyball program and they're always the ones that you want to beat. And it was nice to have them at the beginning to see like where you stood, how you need to improve, because we're going to see Williamsville a lot more times in the season than just on Thursday night. What was that match like looking back at it now a week later? Um, it was really exciting. We had a lot of fans come out, which mm -hmm. made it that like made us pumped up that much more. And it was it was really fun to play that game. Like it was so close, but it made us like realize that we actually had what it takes to beat them. So, on the court, our juniors and our seniors are extremely close. Like everyone on the team just we click so well and that like really helps when you have like personalities and things that click on the court. Like most people say throw that away. You don't you shouldn't have that on the court, but really it's it's so much better when you click and you just know what one another. You know what moves someone's going to do. You know if they're going to take the ball or not. We trust each other, which helps a, tremendously on the court. Is, is that time together that is, is kind of fostered that, or is it something that yeah. has fostered that? The time together has fostered that. We've done a lot of team dinners and, like, talking together, and we just – it's just easy to communicate with one another. You don't have to worry about someone snapping on you for doing this or worry about if you take this ball that they're going to be mad that it wasn't your ball. You you can go for a ball and know that your team or teammate is going to be there to support you. Yeah, like she's a real spark plug out there. She always is. She's a team leader. The team follows her very well. You know, when she's playing well, the team seems to play well. And she has really come forward this year and stepped up playing smarter, as well as dominating. What I mean by that, if she's off a little bit, she'll put the ball in the hole, you know, instead of just hitting, hitting away at it. And she, she can do both. She'll see the holes, put it there, or if she's got a good cut, good swing, she'll put it down. And that's what she did the other night. She just played very, very well. To me, she seems like, you know, she's very upbeat, very bubbly, always positive. You know, she wants to do well. She's kind of a perfectionist, I think, in a way. She wants to do well in everything she does, and that's not a, that's not a bad thing. That's a, you know, that's a good thing. And she's just a sweetheart. I, you know, I couldn't ask for a better player to coach. Um, what the, do you, your team have any quirks, superstitions, themes for the year, or anything you guys do that's out of the ordinary? Um, me and my setter. We always like grab hands and then go like this, and we say skillet, which is a mix between kill it and set it. So that was one just weird thing that we always do. How long have you done it? Um, <laughs> a while? A while. I want to say at least sophomore year, maybe freshman. I'm not sure. Um, at least sophomore year. Um, we do the hops, which is like just like a pump up part of the game before it to get us warm. Um, before the game, we all hold pinkies. <laughs> and we had to have our moment. If you ever see us by the um, national anthem, we're all holding pinkies. No one's ever holding hands. So that's just one, one thing we always do. Um, who on your team is, who, is, it, is it, if it's you, or who on your team has the goofiest celebration? Or, uh, Depends on the thing. Um, yeah. If we get like a, a pass and it's a kill on the other side, just like a crazy pass that goes up, we absolutely love to do bump kill. It's like the best cheer in the world. We love that one. And Emily, our libero, does, she loves that one. Um, Janae, I would say, goes craziest on the hit. She loves that one. And Maddie Savage likes to do her tips. So every time she does a tip, she goes nuts on that one. One play at Williamsville, um, one of, we watched the footage the other day, and literally we had a pass go off, and Sammy ran as hard as she could into the bleachers. And I didn't even know she went this hard into the bleachers until I watched the film. But literally three, four rows up, you could see the bleachers hit her knees, and she flies forward. And just that would just amazed me because I did not know that she went that far. It scared our coach. She, we thought she was down. It was bad, but, <laughs> but, but also, we got the point, so that was good. <laughs>